Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And in this episode, I would like to explain how we handle astigmatism after corneal transplants because many people that have corneal transplants can develop astigmatism, even large levels of astigmatism afterwards. As you remember from our previous episode, astigmatism is an uneven curvature on the front part of the eye, on the cornea. With a transplant, we replace the center part of the cornea, remove it, and replace with a donor cornea that is sewn into place with stitches all the way around the edge. We take sometimes six months up to a year or two to remove these stitches as we need to, and when we're doing that, we can selectively take out certain ones to try and control the astigmatism as it's healing. But, like we've learned from doing transplants, we think the primary determination of the astigmatism as the wound is healing is actually from changes in the tissue and scarring as the wound heals. Because of this, we can only control so much by removing the stitches that are placed at the time of surgery, so then we have to go to other ways to control the astigmatism if it's at a high enough level where glasses or contact lenses, including rigid contact lenses, can't get the astigmatism controlled well enough. Uh, we can do this surgically by modifying the wound by placing extra incisions in the cornea and helping to relax the wound in certain areas, or by placing extra stitches at the same time to temporarily steepen other parts of the cornea to try and get the astigmatism reduced and where we need it to be. Uh, because of this, the wound can be temporarily weakened, but it may have been uh, too strong of a healing process in that area that caused the astigmatism in the first place. Another way that we can manage the astigmatism is with laser. And this is the same laser that we use to do treatments with LASIK and PRK. And it can be very effective and very accurate in lowering the astigmatism because it smooths out the areas using the laser in order to get it more round. We have to be careful if the person had a transplant because of keratoconus or other diseases that cause thinning and changes in the cornea because by thinning the cornea further with a laser, it can put them at higher risk possibly. Also, uh, when we're using the laser, we always think about the accuracy from using the laser because it can be more accurate than other ways of reducing astigmatism. So if you have astigmatism after a corneal graft or any questions about corneal grafts, please post. We'll be happy to interact with you. And we look forward to seeing you again soon, next time on A State of Sight.